Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Looks like we're going to be seeing some pleasant conditions ahead for the morning as far as fire danger is concerned, but some bigger concerns on the way by tonight as winds are expected to pick up out of the north. Now for the most part today, here's what we're dealing with. It's staying relatively hot temperatures around average, if not slightly below average for this time of year. We're seeing uh, temperatures in the mid 90s to low triple digits for the valley today. Winds for the most part out of the south to around 10 miles an hour with a chance for gusts to 15 miles an hour in some canyons surrounding the car fire and humidity as low as 15% for your afternoon. So all of those conditions combined continue to result in high fire danger ahead for your Thursday afternoon. Meanwhile, we are seeing Visibility not too shabby early on this morning. Six miles of visibility right now for Redding. That's up compared to three miles at this time yesterday. So that could help firefighters with that air attack heading in for our Thursday morning. Humidity, meanwhile, rebounding nicely overnight. 82% right now for Weaverville, 71% in Redding, 40% right now for Whiskey Town. So slightly higher there. We are seeing humidity a little lower in those mid valley and foothill areas, 40 to 50% in most of those cities to start off your day. Meanwhile, winds early on this morning, again, light, especially in the areas surrounding the car fire, mostly out of the north to start off your morning. We are expecting winds to shift a little out of the east to 8 a.m., still expected to be light, but then picking up this afternoon up to around 10 miles an hour out of the south. That could push flames back northward this afternoon. But the bigger concern is that we do have stronger winds on the horizon moving back in tonight. Could see some gusts up to around 25, maybe 30 miles an hour out of the north. We're going to be watching that very closely, and that's also responsible for prompting a fire weather watch from tonight through Saturday evening in areas of Shasta and Tehama County. So again, the winds picking up out of the north, that's a big deal for us. Humidity not rebounding very well overnight, also a problem for fire danger over the next few days. Now, satellite and radar, mostly clear for uh, clouds this morning. We're still going to see smoke and haze out there today, but the clouds are going to be uh, thin across Northern California. Mid 90s to low triple digits, your highs in the valley, high 80s to mid 90s in the mountains and foothills for today. So it is going to be slightly cooler for your afternoon. Staying cooler through the weekend as well. Mid 90s for Chico today and tomorrow with low 90s this weekend, but we will rebound into the triple digits Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. Redding, triple digits today, high 90s Friday with mid 90s through your weekend, but a big ramp up in temperatures. 106 Tuesday, 108 on Wednesday. And we do want to pass along our summer safety tips from our friends at Enlo Medical Center. This is for our pets. Leave out ample water and food for those pets. Never or always make sure they have a cool and shady place and never leave them in a car and also avoid walking the dog during the peak hours of the day to avoid burning their paws. Remember, if it's too hot for you to walk barefoot outside, it's also too hot for the furry friends to be walking outside as well. And if you want more summer safety tips, feel free to go to enlo.org slash summer safety.